Today we're talking about my top three picks for the best free piano plugin. So the cool thing about these plugins are they're all a little bit different. So you're going to get to hear you know, a variety of pianos in this video. So if you guys like any of these pianos, I have links in the description below where you guys can go get them and they're free, so you gotta pay for them. So that's definitely a good thing. So if you guys want to hear these pianos, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody. I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about my top three best free piano plugins. So in this video, I'm going to let you hear these three plugins using the same piece that I wrote. And the cool thing about these three plugins is they're very different. So you're gonna get a very different take on this piece that I wrote from three different plugins. You got a soft piano, you got a upright piano, and you got one that's just kind of, I don't really know how to describe it, but uh, you'll get to hear and make up your own mind on it. So with that being said, let's get into this tutorial and talk about the first piano plugin, which is the Spitfire Audio Labs Soft Piano. All right, so we got the Spitfire Audio Lab Soft Piano here, and the user interface on these are really simple to use. And if you guys want to know more about how the labs work, I have a link popping up the top right corner now to my Spitfire Audio playlist. So definitely check that out after this video. It has a lot of really great content in it. So basically, just to kind of sum this up here, this is your volume control knob here. Basically, you want this 100%. This here kind of has to do with compression. The more you bring this up here, the more definition you're gonna get out of your notes, okay? So I actually modified this a little bit to make this sound better. And then over here on this particular piano, this is just reverb. So if we click this here, we get access to the reverb in here, and I add a little bit of reverb to the sound. So you can't get any easier with this user interface. So let's actually give this a listen and then see what you guys think. Alright, so that's a pretty nice sounding piano, you gotta admit, and it's definitely great for being free. Now, this particular piano plugin here is available in VST, AU, and also AAX for Pro Tools, okay? So, if you guys like this piano, let me know in the comments below. So, we're gonna move on to the next one here, which is the Johan Forefront Piano. All right, so we got the Johan Forefront Piano here, and it's spelled Y-O-H-N-G, so I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of information on this piano plugin online because I believe it's pretty old. And I will say that they are keeping the website up to date though because it does have copyright up to 2021, so that's awesome. And this piano here is super easy to use because look at this, this plugin has no settings. <laughs> so you can't change anything on it. Now, this piano is strictly an upright piano. So it's got that kind of sound to it, but it sounds really good. I really, I'm really digging it. And uh, I want you guys to hear it. So let's actually give it a listen.
All right, so that's actually a really nice sounding Upray piano. So I did have to make one modification to it that I thought was necessary. It was a little bit on the bright end, which is pretty typical for a Upray piano, but uh, let me open up my EQ here. So I did pull out some of this area here. So this is looks like to be the lower of the upper mids, I guess you could say. It's around 2K. So it was a little bit too much there and I pulled it out here. I think it's a little bit smoother now. And uh, yeah, so I made it more workable. But yeah, that is the Forefront Piano and it is available in VST and AU. It is not available in AAX. So I'm sorry for my fellow Pro Tools users. We cannot use that in Pro Tools. All right, so let's move on to the last piano, which is the Sample Science Room Piano. All right, so this is the Sample Science Room Piano version three. Now I just wanna read you a little passage from their website to kind of describe this piano. So it says it's a light piano plugin for musicians who want to add a lo-fi touch to their tracks. The living room piano has been sampled in two velocities every three semitones to keep it CPU friendly. The plugin is based on an upright acoustic piano 24-bit stereo recording, okay? So basically this plugin here is not CPU intensive, and it could be used for lo-fi, but you know, as you're gonna listen to it, yes, it's gonna sound very different than the other pianos, but it also, it has some nice clarity to it. But yes, you can definitely use some of these settings in here to modulate it and make it sound more lo-fi, okay? But um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting piano. So let's actually give it a listen and you guys can let me know what you think. All right, so that's a pretty cool piano. It actually reminds me of, like, I never owned an upright piano, but some of my friends did. And when I went over their houses when I was little, I would kind of play on them. It kind of reminds me of that piano, you know? It's almost like it's just a little bit out of tune. <laughs> so, I mean, you can imagine using this in your music for sure. Now, is this the piano you would use to do like a piano vocal piece? No, definitely not, but uh, it definitely has some use cases for it. So. These are my uh, three pianos that I picked for the top three best free piano plugins that are out there. And I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know which ones you guys like the best and let me know in the comments below. And I also want you guys to know I have links in the description below to each of these pianos if you want to add them to your collection. So they're free, so of course you don't have to pay for them. So, you know, if you like any of them, definitely add them to your collection. So if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I love making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.